tourists love to go scuba diving. They plunge themselves into the depths of the ocean in search of the wondrous sights of beautiful fish and astounding coral reefs. But what if they encounter something else? What happens when they run into the stuff that nightmares are made of? What happens when they run into the Japanese spider crab? These chilling crustaceans are basically giant underwater spiders. One big difference being that they have claws strong enough to seriously damage human beings. Japanese spider crabs can have a leg span of over 3 meters and can weigh almost 20 kilograms, big enough to be capable of devouring a human child. In case that's not scary enough, they can camouflage themselves to appear like just another part of the ocean floor. Until it's too late. Are these crabs as scary as they seem? Why do some people believe they're immortal? And is it true that they eat dead bodies? How many of us float atop the surface of the ocean riding waves or catching rays without even realizing the mysteries that lurk in the abyss beneath us? One of these mysterious creatures, living 150 to 300 meters down, is the Japanese spider crab, the largest crab in the world. How safe would you feel in a tank with one of these things? At the end of its extremely long legs are claws that are known to be very strong and pry open muscles and clamps much faster than you could. And you might not even be able to see where they are. Spider crabs belong to a group of decorator crabs that cover their shells with items from their habitats to camouflage and protect themselves from predators. Maybe the most unsettling feature of these ocean dwellers is their apparent immortality. Spider crabs are known to easily lose limbs to predators and human nets, but they can survive while missing up to three limbs and can even regenerate them throughout their long lives. These crabs can live to a hundred years, sometimes even more. As they get older, they also get bigger through a process called molting, in which they grow a new exoskeleton. The largest crab ever caught, affectionately known as Crabzilla, was almost three meters long and weighed about 20 kilograms. Although they may seem scary, they're actually not that intimidating, and molting is one of their first signs of vulnerability. As they grow bigger, their protective exoskeleton becomes too tight. Molting is the process of growing a new shell to replace the old one. The crab will take in a lot of water so that the body swells up and forms a crack in their shell that they can crawl out of. Once they're out of their shell, their soft body is exposed for approximately a week while their new shell hardens up. In that time, they're very vulnerable to predators like octopuses and stingrays. To most marine life, spider crabs aren't really seen as predators. They are the vultures of the ocean as they rely on scavenging to provide their next meal. They pick at dead and decaying matter along the seabed, both plants and animals. It's the animal eating that led to the mariner legend of these crabs dragging sailors overboard and eating them alive. While it's certainly not true, it's definitely plausible that these crabs would feast upon any drowned dead bodies that might come their way. If left undisturbed, they'll pretty much never cross paths with a human being. And even the humans who work with them say that they're gentle giants who are just curious about the world around them. So while they may look like something out of a horror movie, Japanese spider crabs are yet another example of why you should never judge a book by its cover. And that's why they're a crazy creature.